Hello everyone, this is Bruktaswai uh, Brahanu. I'm from Kyumbuk National University. I'm working here as a postdoctoral researcher. I thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity to present parts of my work. So today I'm going to talk on inhibition of Salmonella TV murium adhesion and invasion using uh, methylgalate. So in this uh, presentation, I will give you certain background and also I will indicate the methods and method we use for the study and also I will describe the results and come up with conclusion remarks. So Salmonella TV murium is a gram-negative facultatively anaerobic bacteria which is known to cause intestinal infection both in case of humans and as well as animals. So this, in order to cause infection, the bacteria need to adhere and invade the host cells. So this bacteria, Salmonella TV murium, utilizes two different mechanisms in order to invade the host. That means the trigger and zipper, unlike that of the other bacteria which uses only a single means of uh, bacterial invasion. So this trigger mechanism is uh, encoded by the type 3 section system, SPI1 genes, while the zipper mechanism is encoded by type 3 section system, SPI2 genes, which is also in addition to invasion important for intracellular survival. So our question is, how can we intervene? Because prevention of these adhesions and invasions of this bacteria is important in limiting infection. So our question will be, how can we intervene? Naturally, we use or commonly we use different kinds of antimicrobial agents to treat infections and uh, prevent or limit the disease rates. But unfortunately, nowadays, different bacterial agents, including Salmonella TV murims, are developing antimicrobial resistances to various antimicrobial agents. And this antimicrobial resistance contributes for increasing the virulence or pathogenicity of the bacteria, and it can also increase the morbidity as well as mortality of uh, the disease. So, in order to overcome these situations, we might come up with a, an idea of combination therapy, which might be using antimicrobial with another antimicrobial agent, or currently available antimicrobial with natural compounds. So, for this particular study, we used or combinations of marbofloxacins, which is an antimicrobial agent which is used commonly in veterinary medicine for treatment of intestinal infections, and as well as methylgalate, which is a polyphenolic compound. So why we choose marbofloxacins and marbo, uh, polyphenols? Our laboratory has been constantly engaged in uh, studying different activities of chloroquinols and it's their drug resistance mechanisms and their pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics studies. So we are, have uh, uh, an interest in studying the chloroquinols drop. And why we choose polyphenols is polyphenols, as you know, do have different antibacterial activity. They do have anti-cancer or anti-proliferative and as well as anti-inflammatory activities. So these anti-inflammatory activities of polyphenols can able to have a significant importance in inhibiting bacterial uh, antimicrobial resistances. And recently also we have come up with some results of uh, effects of polyphenol compound in inhibiting quorum sensing uh, genes. Then we hypothesize that if methylgalate is inhibiting quorum sensing, then they can able to contribute in reducing the virulence factor and can able to contribute for reducing antimicrobial resistance in Salmonella uh, tifumurium. So the objective of our study was to determine the role and the mechanisms of methylgalates in inhibiting Salmonella TV murium invasion, adhesion, as well as intracellular survival, both alone as a compound and also in combinations with marbofloxacin. So, to achieve our goals, we have used different materials and methods and we have used three different strains of Salmonella TV murium, one standard, ATCC 14028 strain, and the other ones are two field isolates taken from clinical infections of peak, and we have used the CACO2 cells and as epithelial cells and RO264 cells, macrophage cells, for determining the inhibitions of uh, adhesions, invasions, and intracellular survival. And this has been carried out using the gentamicin protection assay. And to confirm the presence or absence of the intracellular bacteria, we have used confocal microscopy and we analyzed the genes using quantitative variety PCR. Genes of both the quorum sensing and other virulence factors has been determined. And we have also determined the motility assays. 
So coming to the results, we begin uh, our tests using the effects of salm I mean, methylgalate on cytotoxicity of host cells. Here we determine on raw cells. So up to 2000 micrograms per ml, we didn't see any significant effect that is caused by methylgalate. So at around 64 microgram or 62.5 microgram per ml, there was no inhibitory effect or 98% of the cells survived. Therefore, for subsequent uh, analysis or experiments, we have chose 30 microgram per ml of uh, methylgalate in combination with 7 mice of marbofloc acids. And we have also determined the uh, inhibitions of nitric oxide with methylgalate and we have seen a dose dependent relationship ranging from 10 to 300 microgram uh, per ml which have a significant impact in reducing nitric oxide inhibitions so we also determined the mic of marboproxacins and methylgalate again is the three strains of salmonella tv murim here we can see that Salmonella TV murim, were, two of them were susceptible to marbofloxacin at 0.031 microgram, one the standard strain and the other field strain, and one field strain was resistant to microgram uh, marbofloxacin, which is 0 .2, 0 0.5 microgram per ml, which is almost 10 times higher than the other uh, bacteria. But for the case of methylgalate, they have shown the same MIC results for all the three strains, and that is 500 microgram uh, per ml. So coming to the adhesions, uh, the adhesion analysis was done in on raw cells. So we have seen that Salmonella uh, uh, tifimurium adhesion is in significantly inhibited by methylgalate alone and methylgalates in combination with marbofloxacin. Here, the combination consists of 30 microgram of methylgalate and 7 mice. That means 0.015 microgram per ml of marbofloxacin was used. So in uh, raw cells, we can see that 54% with, is inhibited by methylgalate, while 66% of the adherent bacteria is inhibited by the combined uh, effect. And coming to the invasion assay, invasion has been analyzed in both CACOTO cells, that's the epithelial cells, and ad amid macrophases, the raw cells. So in both of the cases, we can see that methylgalate alone and in combination with marbofloxacin significantly inhibit the invasions of Salmonella tb uh, murin. So here we can see about 45% of inhibitions and when we come to raw cells, this has been significantly increased. Up to 67% of the bacterial cells invasion was inhibited by the combination of methylgalate and marbofloxacin. In addition to these ones, the intracellular survival rates of the bacteria was inhibited about like 74% in case of the was treated with combinations of methylgalate and marbofloxacins. And the positive side of this thing is it has shown the same effects on field strains of uh, Salmonella TV murine. And also it do have, methylgalate has shown uh, those dependent inhibitory activities in all of the cases. So this methylgalate has effect on different strains and acts those dependently. And to confirm our results, we have determined using confocal microscopy. And here we can see that uh, cells treated with Salmonella TV murium only without no uh, drugs. And Sabemyce have shown some uh, intracellular survival bacteria, but this has been significantly reduced when we come to methylgalate alone, and but the reduction has been increased more when we combine methylgalate with Sabemyce of marbofloxacin. And we can see a lot of dead cell here. Unfortunately, the background is not good, but we can see a lot of dead cell here by the combination of methylgalate and marbofloxacin. Furthermore, methylgalate has shown inhibition of motility of the salmonella so here is the negative control and this is the sub mic actually the sub mic has also has shown some effect on inhibiting motility but when it combines with marble and methylgalate the significance is really higher it's almost in inhibit all of the uh, motility of salmonella tv murine here is uh, methylgalate with 30 microgram and 100 microgram and the inhibition is also as we can see, kind of dose dependent, and also it inhibits in all of the strains that we have uh, tested.
and carrying into the quorum sensing genes. Two more significant quorum sensing genes in Salmonella tifimurae, the SCDIA and SREG, are significantly reduced or inhibited by methyl gallate. And this inhibition has a significant effect also in reducing another receptor mediated endocytotic uh, activity, or which is important for the zipper mechanism of Salmonella tifimurae invasion, that is the RCK. So the SEDI and SREG, SEDI has been inhibited by 77.8%, while SREG is also been uh, inhibited by 80% in combination of methylgallate with cybermyce of marbofloxacin. Coming to RCK, we can see that this RCK gene has been inhibited about 70%, like 68, almost 68%. So other virulence factors of virulence genes of the salmonella are inhibited by methyl gallate, including some of the host cells, because RAC1 cells, which is important for rearrangement of the active elements of a host cytoskeleton uh, of the cells, we have seen that RAC1s have been significantly reduced by methyl gallate uh, alone as well as in combination with marbofloxacin. So this reduction has contributed about 70% of the RAC1 has been inhibited in combination with methylgallate. And the other one, the CHY and outer membrane protein D, CHY1 is chemotoxic uh, gene, which is significant for motility and outer membrane protein, about more than 70% of these genes has been inhibited by uh, uh, methylgallate combination with uh, marbofloxacin and unaffected protein, CYP-B. The gene has been suppressed by almost 80%, which is, this is secreted by type 3 secretion system of the SPI1 gene of Salmonella TV murin, important for the trigger mechanism of cellular invasion. So to summarize what we have seen still now, we have seen that the current sensing genes of Salmonella tifimuri are significantly inhibited by methylgallate. And this inhibition results for inhibiting RCK, which is important for receptor mediated endocytosis, releasing of effector proteins of Salmonella tifimuri. And it also reduces the uh, suppresses the RAC1 expression which is significant for causing trigger mechanism. So the RCK inhibition results in inhibition of the zipper mechanism because the RCK is important in causing trigger, uh, zipper mechanism of cellular invasion. And here we can see also that outer membrane proteins and CHY, chemotactic uh, uh, genes, has been significantly suppressed in addition to the effector protein CPP which is encoded by the type 3 secretion systems of the SPI1 genes, which is significant for trigger mechanism. So all these virulence mechanisms can be involved in inhibition of bacterial or Salmonella TB murim adhesion and invasions. So to conclude, we can see that methylgallate inhibited adhesions invasions and intracellular survival of Salmonella TV murim and the inhibition is increased when we are using in combination with seven mice of marbofloxacin and it can also get a chance to downregulate the quorum sensing and invasion virulence genes which are very significant especially in the zipper mechanisms of Salmonella TV murim invasions. So based on this we can see that this methylgallate can be a potential candidate as an antimicrobial agent or it can be used in combinations with other drugs and it is really important in preventing antimicrobial uh, resistance so with this i will conclude uh, my sessions and i want to acknowledge uh, my supervisor professor singchun park for his unlimited uh, support and also i um, thankful for all of my lab mates who have been working with me for the last four and five years. And thank you very much for your attention. And if you do have any question, you can refer uh, this journal from Journal of Veterinary Research, Inhibition of Salmonella TB Murim, Aviation Invasion and Tracellular Survival, or you can contact me through any of these uh, listed contacts. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your attentions. Kamsamida.